You're at a Starbucks and somebody calls the cops on you. You're at an Airbnb and someone calls the cops on you. You're at a dorm and fall asleep and someone calls the cops on you. You're selling water and someone calls the cops on you. You're playing golf and someone calls the cops on you. You're mowing the lawn, trying to get some feria, and someone calls the cops on you. You are having a cigarette and someone calls the cops on you. Now you're at a funeral and someone calls the cops on you and it happens to be this jack wrench right here. This idiot not only told the people who were having the funeral that he was presiding over to get the hell out of his church and also to get this thing referring to the person that was deceased in the casket out of his church. Really? So the church is yours, huh? I thought actually the church was supposed to be God's house, right? Well, let me figure something out. I guess the only, the, the only, it, it seems that the only hell in the church is you. So if you want to get the hell out of the church, why don't you get the hell out of it? Why don't you get out? Whoever this clown is. Yeah. So here's the thing. I'm going to post the article on this in the bottom, but I, I want to say something about this. I think the family should sue this this so-called priest. Yeah, he should be sued. Seriously. This idiot had the nerve to not only insult the family and kick them out of the church, along with the, the deceased uh, person with the casket, he called the cops on this family. Okay, yeah. We see that there are jack wrench devils like this idiot serving. Now, he should be saving face because of all the stuff that the Catholic Church, unfortunately, has been associated with as far as all this sexual deviant stuff that's been going on. So he should be saving face big time. And this is not saving nothing. So check this out. The family should sue. I don't care. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you guys, you know, as an Orthodox Christian, no, I am not Western Catholic, but to me, because I know people that are priests and all that, you know, um, and, and most of the priests, if you, when you talk about the Orthodox Church, it's different. We have a lot of married priests and a lot of them I know, and we have monk priests, the ones that don't marry, but they either, whether you're a married priest or not, you know that when once you put on those vestments, you're you're to serve the people. You know, it's 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 hard for me to, you know, I mean, it will take a whole video to go into detail about that. But yeah, yeah, that's a servitude position. You know, you're not over anyone. It's not their church. Yeah, there's shepherds over it, but it's not. I mean, they're not God. Like this guy is saying, get the hell out of my church. No, the church is supposed to be God's church, not yours. <sighs> yeah, anyways, y'all, um, let me know what you think.